What's up, guys, and welcome to my channel. And tonight, I'm going to be playing a very one of my favorite games I've had for quite a long time. And I played the other day, and I felt really good about, you know, the story, the characters, and all the events that led up to the story. And the game we're playing tonight is The Walking Dead. Now, this playthrough is going to be broken through chapters. Yes, for, those, for those of you who like short-form videos, this one's for you. For those of you interested in the longer video, I, will have, I do have it on my channel for your free pleasure. And also, for the, for the series, I'll be providing commentary. So for those of you new to my channel, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I look forward to, look forward to making it for you. And for those of you who are returning to my channel, I want to take a moment to thank you for supporting my channel and appreciating the work that I do. You make it all worthwhile. So now, let's play The Walking Dead. So I'm going to go ahead now and start a new game. Actually, let me take this one. And we'll begin anew. And the first episode we're going to play is called A New Day. So let's get to it. What do we have here? A beautiful city. I think this was um, downtown Atlanta. I've been there a few times and it's actually a really nice city. You know, great vistas, beautiful structures, rich history. And also very nice people too. And it looks like he's um, going to prison. Huh. Let me see the mirror. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Well, let's see here. So, I have a choice here to say why you see that. It doesn't really matter. You know that's about reckoning. So, I'm going to go ahead and say, why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And let's see, what do you say every time, or not from me? Well, I'm going to say, what do you say? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. <laughs> Look around here, Cam. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. So, so I guess uh, I can say, you're from making then. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Damn, something's going yeah, down over there. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Oh man, something's really going on back there. Sure. <laughs> Regardless, it could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh man, uh, well, F you. <laughs> You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Helicopter there. What is going on out there? Huh? 
I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Ew. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, um, well, so did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This Holy crap! Oh, damn! Oh, oh, oh. Holy crap, dude. That's a good crap. Mm. Mm. Damn, nasty. Going on over here now, so the car's now crashing. Oh damn! Oh my god! All that blood everywhere. Who's up there screaming? That is insane. All the wreck. Oh shit! Man, he's lucky to be alive. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck my leg. Oh man, that cop is all jacked up. Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. Um, he ain't getting up. Let's call him again. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. And the shotgun. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Yeah, he was definitely pulled from that car. So, so while we're here, let's go ahead and look out of the car and get out of here. So, this is the young window. Let's um, give it a kick. <laughs> what kind of kick was that? <laughs> I do it again. Okay, one more time. There we go. Okay, now go, now I get out of the car. Damn, man, that dude's all jacked up. And that was that was a really nasty accident. All admit though, I really love the graphics in this game. You know, especially, the, especially the comic book style. It's, um, for those who don't know, this was this this version of the game is based on the book by Robert Kirkman. It actually, it's all a bit of it, and I might read it some. I might read some dead if I get a chance. Okay, so now we're out of the car, and we're gonna go into the cop, the cop body. First, um, let's get the shotgun shell. You know, that might come in handy. It might it might come in handy for us in a little bit. And let's get the uh, shotgun. Oh man, that leg is all messed up. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Oh man, man my knees hurt just watching this guy walk. Alright, let's go to the, let's go to the cop's body and see see the keys on his waistband. Oh man, man, that cop got jacked up. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get the keys off his waistband. You know, I really love how this game is very interactive. You can literally just. Shit! 
Oh, he's, if he's from the ground, let's um, let's um get that. Oh hell yeah! All right, and now the other one. There we go. Oh, what the hell is that? Officer. Oh no! Oh hell no! Holy shit! Holy shit's right, man. Back up. Oh man, here we go. Get away from oh, my me! God. Get the gun. Oh my god, I remember playing this back in the day. I died like twice. I had to fight this. Getting got so nervous. Hurry up! Hurry up! Don't make me do this! Hurry up! Hurry up! Go, 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 go. Damn, it's nasty. Holy crap, dude. Oh my god. Ugh. He made him blew his face off. Man. Well, no more cop, and who's this at the distance there? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Oh, man. What the? Oh, hell no. He's one of the zombies, one of the top walkers. Oh, damn. Get up, dude. Get up. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta haul ass out of there. Safe and sound. Oh man, that's scary. All those zombies find a fence. It's a gunfire, I guess he's ain't it leaving. Thank God. Now that we're safe and sound. Hello? Anybody? Wow. It's a nice house, in, by the way. Nice neighborhood, too. So, now that we're safe and sound, we need to find, we need to find help. Before I do, of course, I'm going to have a little fun while I'm here. If you, you, know, if you guys are in a fun, I definitely am. So, for this video, I'm going to say the fun phrase. And I hope you guys will remember, remember it. And it's going to be called Zombie House. I'll tell you what to do with that at the end of the video. Let's continue. So now we're in the back. This nice backyard here. It's a very nice yard, Help! right? Dude, I had a thought. Can you imagine those zombies climbing the fence? Now that'd be scary as shit. Let's um, go over here real quick. Look around. That was a little, little pool cover. Maybe I'll just go for a dip. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. A little pool party. <laughs> Alright, so let's over here. I see a little... You see a nice wagon, nice tire swing, and the tea set. Let's look at that for a second. I could fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Somebody! Um, yeah. Yell if you can hear me! Yeah, I agree with their partner with the tea, the bourbon and the tea kettle. You in a, you in a car crash and survived. I'd be happy to give some bourbon. So let's look at the treehouse here. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Okay, let's um call the treehouse. Anybody up there? Okay, let's go again. Just for kicks. Hello? Is there anybody, anybody here? Anybody in there? And one more time. I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. All right, that's, that's it. So um, let's go ahead and go into the house now, and hopefully, hopefully, we can find someone. We can find someone to help us. Here's the um, 
What's up? Chance of the street, but um, we're not going there yet. Let's go in the house. So let's go ahead and go in the house now. And for those of you who are not familiar with Telltale game, each action each action on screen corresponds to a button on the control pad. So let's hit the B button to open the screen door. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? An intruder, or one of them. Oh man, that house, that house is wrecked. These people might need more help than I do. All right, so now we so now we control the character. Now let's look around this house, and I must say, for a game that's about 12 years old now, I'm still impressed with the graphics, with the um, with the, with the nice shadows and the dramatic lighting. It's definitely a beautiful feel to the game. So while we're here, let's um look over here. This bowl of fruit. It's fake. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely feel the pain, man. You know? It reminds me of a time when I was a kid. Now, I don't know how old you guys are watching this video. But, um... When I was a kid, my grandma had these on, this metal tin full of cookies, right? And as a kid, I wanted, I wanted cookies really bad. So I go, open, go to that tin... And then open it up, and all I'd find was um sword supplies. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing. <laughs> now let's, let's go to TV here. Let's see what's uh, um, cables out. All right, no, of course, no cable. There are three new messages. And let's go to the window here. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? Yeah, something's going on. Something's really going on around here, God. between the walkers in the forest Kid and um. Dear. And shooting that cop. That was crazy. Let's go over here to this answer machine. Keeps beeping. And this bookshelf. Furniture overturned. Blood everywhere. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it, it, this whole house looks wrecked. And it's just, ugh. It's terrible. Maybe there's something on there. It's, um, here messages now. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh man. That sounded very tragic. And what and I mean I couldn't imagine being away and then hearing coming home a mess like that. Huh? Oh wow. So I think it's like a walkie talkie or something in the kitchen here. And Man, this is, this whole kitchen looks nasty as hell. It's like a massacre in here. All right, so let's walk around the room a little bit and see what you can find. So right now, here is the, here's a a cup of water. Who leaves a, who who would do that? Leave water in a leave water in a counter for like two three days. That's gross. Ah, uh, come on, man. That's, that's pretty nasty as hell. All right, let's open this drawer right here. There's nothing here. And look, look at these cabinets too, because well, because why not? 
you know, I'll admit right now, as I play this game, I, I still admire the level of detail that went to making this, you know. Um, not every game needs to be high octane or furious or twitch heavy, you know. If that, this is a game that my mother or my wife could play. And I'm just going in here because I can. Okay, nothing in cupboards. Now let's open the, uh, the drawer right here. There we go, walkie talkie in there. So I'll pick it up. Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay, it's, um, let's see. Are you okay? Who is this? I'm not a monster. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Okay, so let's see here, Ron. What's your name and where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? And we're gonna ask her, is she safe or where are you? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Aww. Holy shit. Come on now, get off me. Get off me. Damn. Dang it, Ted. Come on now. Get away from me. Oh, man. Oh, it's so oh, oh, damn it. Damn. Nice hit. Man, I don't want to kiss. Back up. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, what's the tail? Damn, damn, right there. Right in the eye. Damn. Damn. Oh, man, that's freaking nasty. I'll tell you right now, guys, I'm putting headphones on. This game sounds really good. Oh, man, that's hella hey. gross. Hi there. Did you kill it? Mm, I think something else did. I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Alright, so now you have a choice here. So we can also look for help in the daytime before it gets dark, or we can get out of here once the sun goes down. I'm gonna be smart about it and use use a night as cover so we can leave here as soon as, as, soon as the sun, sun goes down. Let's do that. We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Oh, man, fighting that Stay zombie. Close to me. That was sick, man. The hammer? Mm, mm, mm. Plus, I the head and everything. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. 
All right, so now I have control of the character again. And it's the you know, little girl. Oh, man. And I'll tell you right now, though, any game involving with a kid's companion, I'm sure will create a lot of technical challenges, especially making sure the kid's okay. You know, so, um, let's go to this gate here. He'll be gimping around. <laughs> I found the bastard! Oh, damn. Who the hell shoot that man? Are we going to die? No, we're not gonna die, kid. We we'll okay. No, I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Oh, Dude, hell you no. listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here! Yeah, Shit, I'm you're glad not he bit one himself. of those things. Neither yeah, of us are. Shot. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. Mm. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Yeah, I saw a lot in the forest, man. So many of them. I, I just saw a girl inside that house. Nah, it wasn't him. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... Well, I'm just some guy. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh boy, oh, it's, um, it's a friend. Shit. Let's go, get into my car! Alright, so guys, go. we're almost near the end of this video. And, um, as soon as we get out of the neighborhood, come on, cop, get in the car. <laughs> so as soon as we get out of the neighborhood, I'll end the video here, and then. <laughs> well, alright guys, so that's the end of the chapter here, and I'll tell you right now, that's still fun. This game is still amazing, and I'm looking forward to doing more for you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I have a favor you to ask. If you made it to the end of this video, please use this, use, in the comments below, use, use this in a sentence. It is, it is always fun and games and parties at the blank. And use, a, and use a fun phrase in the comments below. And tell me what you think. So, until next time, you guys take care of yourselves and have an awesome evening.